Hey guys, welcome to number part one. In this episode, we are going to be installing the rear portion of this kit. You guys might be able to see that I already have it on, but watch for how we install it, why it's like this, and then part two will be front fenders, and then part number three is gonna be setting up this front bumper. We already have issues, and I'll show you a little sneak peek. We're gonna have to mold this fender into the front bumper, and you guys will see how we do that. I fucked my knee up big time. I don't know what I did. Trying to keep all these screws in the front. Okay, so now to remove the top, screw up into the things and then tape it again. That's the plan. Okay, okay so we just finished up deburring, or wow, 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 wow. Okay. We just finished up drilling the hole so I can actually fit the steel thread inserts right here. We're gonna be expanding them, but first we have to make sure that we can actually have it sit properly. We're gonna have to get a deburring tool and deburr all these metal flakes. Uh, most of the holes came out 100%. This one has a little bit of sound editing behind it, but I can easily push the sound editing back and then insert it. Um, but it looks like it's pretty good. After this, we're gonna mount this up to here, test fit the kit onto the car after we insert these, and then we're gonna do the other side. Same thing, rinse and repeat. Do I really need to be like close for this part? Pause. Okay. What is amazing? Jesus Christ. This is so much garb strength. I genuinely don't you think. You put this in before you do the kit? Yes. Because then there I have something to screw into. Because this is oh, now a threadable yeah. thing that's mounted into the surface of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw up a little bit. I need to screw down. Either way, so it's the nose of this thing meets flush with that. So whenever I press this down, it actually goes somewhere. Okay, this is the last little press. Oh, okay, that's it, cool. I'll fit this back on just so the front. Yeah, because you can break the kit if you tighten it from the front. Oh, potentially. Make sure you don't bow them. And that. That, that wool. Sometimes yeah. it looks like you're tightening it too. I'm not, I'm not even tightening it to like where it's all the way. Like that looks like it's too much. No, it, this is just the shape of the kit. Well, I know it has the indent for the thing. So small update, unfortunately this side of the car all needs to get shifted over literally one centimeter over when we put the kit on it looked kind of bad from afar um, and it was slightly off. So I need to sand off the top of all these rev nuts, move it an inch over the entire kit that way. Today I got a, I think, what, eight inch orbital sander. Um, Zaxxon brand is all my other tools. We're gonna go over, we're gonna try to sand down the tip of it around the outside and then we're gonna line up the kit, position it and move it over a little bit and then I'm gonna have to cover up any part of the hole that will be seen past the kit. Wish me luck, I've never done this before and hopefully this goes well. Nice part about having tools that all have the same things, it means I can interchange all of my batteries. I've never used this before so we'll see. It 
fucking worked. On the other side, I actually had to like try to drill out the hole. It did not work. This worked well, every look how time. Look quickly they wear off. You need yeah. something rougher. It's when I'm holding in one spot and not letting it fully rotate. So. But it, that's what you have to do. So. Yeah. So I can just keep using different edges all the way around. And do different parts. Guys, this actually fucking worked. I cannot believe it. I'm gonna drill over all the holes over. Brilliant idea. But I'm gonna drill over all the holes Brilliant now, idea, and this is not gonna touch. This, I'm gonna have to overlap the circle ever so slightly, but it's not gonna ruin the structural integrity anymore. And then what I'll do with this is I'll fill it, um, but it actually, I think, can take off all of the old nuts. There's a lot of old nuts I gotta do, at least on the metal portion. This portion, I don't know how I'm gonna do the plastic portion yet, but we'll see. Uh, I'm gonna at least stir over here, do this one, move my way over until we get all of them off now, okay? One more gone. Just gotta keep going through and I'll slowly get them all done. And then hopefully it doesn't rain too much and I start rusting before I get some sort of thing. But that feels good regardless. So for today, we started to do what we are gonna have to do across the entire car. Right now, we've just done like four. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more to do. We have a lot to do, but I'm excited. Once this is all adjusted and moved forward a centimeter, that means we can finally install the rear of the kit. Once the rear of the kit's installed, we can install the side skirt. Once the side skirt's installed, we can install the front. I'm excited for this. I'm excited for what this thing's gonna look like. It's going to be a fucking beast. One step at a time though, we had to do this and get this right. Don't worry, none of this is gonna be seen and the entire thing is gonna be prepped and wrapped. So, all right, part two, tomorrow.